All right, thanks, Greg. Well, varicose veins can be a major problem for elderly people. Dr. Mimi Lee is here to discuss the underlying medical conditions and the risk associated with varicose veins. She is with Vein and Aesthetic Care here in Little Rock. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, Dr. Lee, not only are varicose veins a cosmetic issue, but like you're saying, there can be some underlying medical conditions that go along with varicose veins as well. Right, well, thank you for having me. And um, you're right, varicose vein is not just a cosmetic issue. In fact, um, they're usually associated with underlying blood flow issue or circulation issue. Mm -hmm. And um, healthy veins are supposed to carry our blood flow from the feet to the heart with one-way valves in them. Patients with varicose vein often have bad valves, and as a result, their blood flow can be leaking down. Okay, and, and we have some pictures, and when you have varicose veins and that blood flow is not getting through properly, Properly, is that when we start to see the bluer veins that that in our legs? That's exactly right. If if you um you know there's an internal vein called a saphenous vein in the leg, and it's the weakest vein in the leg. As a result, when the valves are not working right, the blood flow leaks down that vein, and they will leak out to the side branches, causing them to become enlarged and ropey on the skin surface. And not only you just see the bulging vein, but the skin can also suffer damage, causing um discoloration, swelling inflammation and even um, ulcers and blood clots. Is there any pain associated Often with so. that? Often so, pain and cramping and heaviness. And it would be hard for our elderly to get up and walk and get around. That's right. Okay, so now that we know the underlying medical conditions, how would you uh, diagnose and treat? It's called venous reflux. That's correct, Doug. The blood flow leaking down is called venous reflux, and the diagnosis should be made by a vascular uh, exam as well as a diagnostic ultrasound, mm -hmm. which will show that the blood flow is leaking down the leg. And then, uh, what would be the procedure that you would have to go through? Is it is it outpatient? Uh, how long will you be uh, you know down, or is there any downtime? Great question. Um, treatment used to involve removing the saphenous vein, or what we call vein stripping, but we have now replaced that with a procedure, the closure called a closure procedure. In fact, um, I started. I'm the first physician to perform this procedure in 2001, and uh, it basically uses very gentle energy to close shut the diseased vein, and as a result the blood flow will redirect through other healthy veins so the discomfort the circulation will improve and the swelling and bulging vein may disappear and it's often covered by insurance and we have a picture of the after uh, uh, of what it would look like after you've done that very smooth um, is there any anesthesia involved with this do you have to be put put to sleep? Well, the treatment is usually done in an office setting, but mm -hmm. we do administer a mild anesthetic and um, sure. sedative to make patients comfortable. Sure. And it takes about, you know, 30, 40 minutes. And I've been told many times it's easier than going to see the dentist. Oh, well, now that's pretty easy because the dentist can be uh, quite challenging yes, sometimes, Dr. Mimi. Well, you have um, free screenings. If anyone feels like or thinks that they have varicose veins, you have a free screening going on, two of them. That's correct. And uh, at this free screening event, um, I usually perform a very brief uh, physical exam along with a limited ultrasound mm -hmm. to determine if the patient is a candidate for further diagnostic study and treatment. And by the way, our last free screening event for this year are next um, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's right, at your office. Correct. It's uh, Dr. Mimi Lee, Vane in Aesthetic Care. And uh, if you miss that uh, free screening, you can always uh, call her at 224-0880 um, to schedule an appointment and visit the website. Yes, All right, thank you so much, Dr. Lee. Nice me. meeting you. We'll be right back with much more. Good day.